Public Health England says that people should vape rather than smoke because it's 95% safer. But a number of deaths in the United States which have been linked to vaping is raising questions over whether it's time to reassess that guidance. Joined by John Don, who's director of the UK Vaping Industry and uh, Association, I should say, and Dr Aaron Scott, a lecturer in respiratory science at the University of Birmingham. Hello to you both. Thank you for joining us on the programme this afternoon. John Dunn, to you first of all. Is vaping harmful? What we know is vaping is at least 95% safer than, than smoking. Um, but nothing we do is 100% safe. Um, OK, Doctor, is vaping harmful? I'd say, based on our research, there is an associated harm with using electronic cigarettes. Um, the figure 95% less harmful I would disagree with. We don't know what that figure is, and until we carry out long-term studies, we will not know what that figure is. Um, so to put that quantification on it is spurious. But do you think it's harmful or not, Doctor? Uh, we have shown in the short term that it is harmful to important cells within your lungs. So if it's harmful in the short term, I think that indicates it's very important that we carry out the longer-term studies to see what the actual effects are. And in what way is it harmful in the short term, before we go back to uh, John so that he can put the counter-argument? Uh, we have carried out research in important airway immune cells. So these are the cells that protect your lung from uh, possible infections and things that would, you would breathe in, which may cause harm or infection. And these cells clear that up under normal circumstances. Now, if you're a cigarette smoker, these cells are damaged over time. And eventually, your ability to cope with, say, a potential infection is, is diminished. With e-cigarette use, we've shown that just with a 24-hour challenge, 24 hours, you can significantly inhibit this effect. You can significantly inhibit your ability to deal with possible infectious agents. So if that's effective in the short term, what are those effects in the long term? We need to carry out long-term cohort studies in actual e-cigarette users to find out what these true effects are. But certainly, it's not 95% safer than cigarettes. John. Well, I find, I find it interesting that over the weekend, Public Health England reiterated its stance on this. Um, and they were quite happy to say and continue to say that, that in their, in, in their uh, opinion, it's at least 95 per cent safer. But what we've got to understand here is that this is looking at smokers doing something that is better for them. Nobody is saying that people who don't already smoke and don't already vape should take up vaping. This is something that's for smokers who are already have damage from smoking. Yeah, but I mean 95% safer, not 95% safer, 95% safer than smoking, but smoking is 100% dangerous. John. Well, abs absolutely. We, we know that. We know that smoking will kill you. <clears throat> but this is looking at um, the health effects on the 7 million people that are, are left smoking in this country. And to come out and say that vaping uh, is something that they should stop, especially when these stories in the US are not related to the same type of vaping products that are currently available to, to consumers here in the UK. These are tied to um, illegal backstreet THC devices and not nicotine. Doctor? I actually have to agree with John. The, we can't blame e-cigarettes for the deaths that have occurred. And we can't 100% link. They may have used e-cigarettes, but they've used e-cigarettes that were modified with uh, cannabis oil and various other agents. So we can't say that these people have died because of e-cigarette use. Uh, I would also agree that I would not tell anyone to stop using an e-cigarette and go back to cigarettes. Obviously, e-cigarettes, I still agree, are less harmful than cigarettes. So if your option is either smoke or use an e-cigarette, definitely use an e-cigarette. But if you are a never smoker or you have quit and decide to take up an e-cigarette, that's definitely a bad move. And there are quite a few people out there that were ex-smokers, quit for a few years and have then moved to e-cigarette use as they perceive it as being negligible harm. Um, that would be a bad move, in my opinion. And based on our research, definitely uh, not recommended. But as I said, definitely less harmful than smoking. So if you have moved to e-cigarettes, I would continue to use the e-cigarette. John, are e-cigarettes e addictive? Well, what they say is that nicotine in itself um, is about as addictive as caffeine. Um, so in, in a cigarette, there's a lot of other components that make it far more addictive. I think what happens is when uh, somebody takes up an e-cigarette, it's more that hand-to-mouth 
um, that they're used to rather than the, the, the nicotine addiction. But what we find is with electronic cigarettes is that uh, a person's consumption of nicotine um, goes drastically down as they get used to it. So um, many vapors use uh, very, very low levels of nicotine in their devices. OK, Doctor, what is it in cigarettes that kills you? In cigarettes, there's a complex mixture of about 5,000 different agents, and many of them um, cause cancer and various different lung diseases. Um, in e-cigarettes, obviously, that mixture is much less complicated, and it doesn't have tar, which is obviously one of the key harmful agents in cigarette smoke. Uh, I would say that nicotine is known to be very addictive, and that People that use e-cigarettes de novo, who have never used, been exposed to nicotine, will develop a nicotine addiction and a nicotine dependence. And that the level of nicotine that people are using is very much dependent on what their nicotine dependency is. So you can't say that people are using less nicotine. People who use e-cigarettes based on what their previous cigarette usage was. John? I would say at the, at the start, I would agree with the, with the doctor on that. But what we find is most vapors will start on a higher dose of nicotine. And as they go into the more high-powered devices, that nicotine level drops down to, to, to almost negligible levels. And in some cases, they're not even uh, using nicotine at all in those liquids. Uh, doctor, that would potentially suggest that uh, vaping is significant, 95%, as we've heard, 95% figures from... Uh, um, the uh, health authority here in England, 95% safer. So would you, would you vape? I wouldn't vape. I've never used, I've never smoked. I've never used any nicotine containing product. So I would definitely not vape. Anything that you take into your lungs at that temperature is going to be harmful. If you then put an addictive agent such as nicotine in there, into the mix, that means you're going to have continued sustained usage. So I definitely would not do that. What about you, John? Do you vape? Um, I do, and I used to smoke as well, and I'd recommend it 100% to anybody that I know that's smoking. Why? Because it's far safer than what they're doing. Why don't you stop? It's extremely difficult to stop. Um, I tried many, many different times using patches, using pills, using everything else that I could imagine, and going to turkey as well, and the only thing that I found that worked for me was vaping. But you, you're going to continue to vape for the rest of your life? Um, no, I only vape on occasion now, and I, I, I don't use nicotine in the vapes that I use. OK, but even if the, the fact that we haven't got enough information yet to see long term what sort of damage it might do to you, you still feel that on occasion it's the right thing for you to do? A hundred percent. What we do know at the moment is that it's far, far safer to do this um, than smoking. Um, and I've actually had very positive um, health effects from not smoking and, and vaping. So I'm quite happy with the decision. Yeah, I mean, Doctor, smoking is a mugs game, isn't it? You know, it's like flipping a coin. If it's heads, you live. If it's tails, you die. The, the odds are just like that. Um, my producer, Neil, is vaping. I keep trying to get him not to. Um, that's why I wanted to do this piece today. What would you say to him, Doctor? Uh, I would say, again, if, if the choice is smoking or vaping, I would definitely go for, definitely go for vaping. Um, as you said at the top of the show, cigarettes are pretty much the 100% harm you can do. They're the gold standard for the harm that you can choose to do to yourself. Um, and anything you can do to reduce that is definitely a positive move. So when it come, if it comes down to that choice, I would definitely support the use of uh, an e-cigarette over a cigarette. Um, if you've got to the point where you're not no longer using nicotine in your vape, that indicates that you're no longer dependent on nicotine, so you should stop using the vape altogether because you obviously, uh, if you're definitely not using nicotine, you're not no longer nicotine addicted. You don't need that, and you don't need the extra risk that you bring into your life by using it. John, what do you say to that? That's directly aimed at you, sir. Well, that's fine. I find it a pleasurable experience, so that's what I continue to do it for. Even though you're not sure whether yes. it might be harmful to you in the long term. And the, I'm, the, I'm the, the, you're not addicted to it, according to the doctor, because there's no nicotine in it. And you're putting a I'm hot... Um, stream of air into your lungs, which can only be damaging. I've, I've had only positive health effects from quitting smoking, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, vaping has been uh, extremely good for me. Final thought, Doctor? Uh, I think it's great that um, John has quit smoking and that there's been a lot of people around the country that have used e-cigarettes to quit tobacco use. Um, I think it's even better move to move to nicotine-free devices and using the nicotine free e-cigarette continues. Use of that is obviously a personal choice. 
I'm just here to say what I would recommend, which is to move away from e-cigarette use if you get to the point where you're using zero nicotine. OK, good to talk to both of you. Thank you so much for joining us on the programme this afternoon. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thanks a lot.